All right, folks, the deck is Reno Dragon Luna's Pocket Galaxy Mage. The goal of the deck is to use Luna's Pocket Galaxy early to reduce the cost of our minions, which includes Blade Master Okani, so that we can really punish Questline Hunters for only playing really one minion in their deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! One, two... Seems good. Nature yeah. No beasts, please. Cool. Now I just need to work my way towards the pocket galaxy. I will crush your Bless you. I think they did it. What? <laughs> Nature will rise uh, against you. You can't blame me for that one. Enough of this. Fortunately, they have an Oaken Summons turn here. Just need to hope they don't have it. The storm they don't have an Oaken Summons, okay. Why would I trade here? Maybe it's like a Taunt Druid? That could be fun. Need to lean towards polymorph effects then off of uh, Maligos and Kazamicus. And holding the Varden is probably a good idea as a result. It's kind of a bummer draw. Is it though? I want to be greedy with them. I'm likely to yeah, run into taunts first of all, but also like get Pocket Galaxy down in the near future. I think the only concern for this is Poison Seeds. But the idea here is that I tempo this out, get a Tortolan into a uh, Pocket Galaxy book, and then I'm in business. And if they do uh, seeds this, they're not getting a lot of value out of that in a situation where they might like it. It looks like it is a seeds though. That's fine. I think this is still an overreaction. Go ten pot here. I'm the brood mother. Don't you ever forget? Potion. By my calculations, you need to chill out. Ready for a show. Job done. Eight. I was considering the eight to face off of the uh, second half of the potion, but like I'm concerned about um, it's like Hadro boards eventually if this if I'm not able to push through for lethal. Omega Lil, double Nazoth. 
Shouldn't immune not be able to be frozen? Uh, no, it's immune to damage, not freeze effects. It's not taking damage there. It just got frozen. This must be the way. <laughs> Life and hope are worth fighting for. Engine, thank you for the raid. Sorry I missed that, but uh, appreciate the support. Hope you had a good stream. I arrive and heard, I don't think I like you, must be a sign. I mean, I'm not responsible for guff. But I disagree. That's actually kind of nutty. I don't think I like you. You're not very nice to me, Guff. They do have another Nazoth in their deck because that first one is a copy from the Moonlit Guidance. Drawing extra minions is pretty ridiculous when we've played a um, Pocket Galaxy, though. Here's the bad news. I will split your soul Nope. Is that good? Falls. 
me. <laughs> okay, I'm probably losing the Arugula here. But this is protected. And I want to save the sheep. Like, if they clear off the Arugula as well, they might just die. And I have this for, like, additional layers. They have one Nazoth and a Hadronox as the layers I need and to consider. Cycle of life is you... <laughs> you... Okay. I think we just Reno this. It's too many Death Rattles and too many minions in their Hadronox pool. A conundrum. Watch closely as I make everyone disappear. Hmm. I don't think I like you. I've got Mutanus, I've got a Solarium Prime, and I've got a Zephyrus. I think we're good from here. I, we're ahead in fatigue as well. That doesn't get you an extra card. Got one more poison seeds, right? This is not what we stood for. Could be GG. But you better believe I'm playing the Solarium Prime. Single target damage should hit their face now. Easy. Yeah, well, maybe this allows me to take a 10 pod if I need it. Could be a slow shaman, but we faced a lot of burn shamans today, which, yeah. <laughs> My god. Fantastic draw, too. Right when I was about to play the scientist. This is about how things have been going today. If it is, well, it is burn, so at least we have the ice block, it's just... Still a very unfortunate matchup. I'm gonna go big. Oh! 
deal with their either giants or um, frogs. Just need to find a dragon now. Evolve is fine here because I've already... I guess that makes up for the uh, ice block draw. I don't want to give them a free um, frog out here. I think it would be a pretty big mistake to play the rat um, if they do just play a frog and spend three mana. Oh, it's big. Okay. I really needed that. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, glad I didn't spend the dirty rat though. You're making this easy. Probably the best Reno I'm gonna get. It's also good that I haven't spent the uh, Barden, and it's very good that I have this, although the uh, an armor is less relevant now. Break it, you buy it. Overall, it feels like I'd probably have a better chance in this matchup. The good opening for the Tortolan into Hogbox. Nice. Yeah, this is turning around. Uh, I didn't expect to have as much time as I currently do. Do I ever tempo the Reno? Probably not. Magic. Is there a reason to bump into that? Good this goes face good. every time. Alex draws as a reason to bump into it because. Their health doesn't matter. Alex Straza could also be a reason to just tempo the Reno. What's a fair amount of damage in play? Uh, what are they trying to get out next turn if they just play a minion from hand? Blackwing? I'm gonna hold. I've got the amazing Reno. I've got this potion. If they develop... Like, what I can do is just... Yeah, let them develop here. I can even rat into Varden. Yeesh. Good. The more they develop here, the better off I am into the Gazamica's potion. One. <laughs> uh, I think they win. Okay. Glad I didn't set up for an Alex Draza turn. going slow. I've got two big board clears. I don't really care about taking nine right now when I've got, like, this plus this. Yeah, I would rather get another threat from them with uh, either of these. Sure. Cat! Thank you for the five gifted subs. That's a top deck as well. Yeah, we just greet it out. I don't think I like my current hero power. I'd like the possibility to draw some cards and do some silly things, so. Watch closely, I make everyone disappear. This could also draw me cards. Win this 
there is no need to draw any more cards. Perfections must be swept away. I'm gonna keep this just for the uh, pocket galaxy hopium. Yeah. I really need this to be slow druid though. <laughs> Doesn't look like it is. Thank you. You're in my house now. Yep. Yeah. What I was waiting for on the Mutanus, but they already had some of those in hand. I would like to hit Kazamicus here. Good rolls for them, unfortunately for me. It's actually fine. Uh, it's possible they can't play the Kazamicus with a, um, because I haven't pulled a, the Marauder yet. But at least we got some stats, had some stats. Just chunk through the armor right now. Life and hope. I want to try and force out the Kazamicus, but at the same time they can't really play it. They also critically can't play Spreading Plague with the uh, Lilothub. Is the new Legendary like any good? Uh, no. I haven't drawn him in the matchups that he's aiming for either, so kind of a bummer. Uh, if they play any minion here, which kind of they're locked in towards minions, um, we just get to lethal them. GG. That's the play we set up. It's like a full mold to me. Nutanus is tempting, but much better like after a um, early pocket galaxy. I think I'm gonna cut this. Nice idiot totem. Oh, my hand is a doo doo.
So much for that ping. coin here because my hand is so heavy, but I don't want that scaling any further. Is there anything valuable to res with Nazoth? I mean, a substantial portion of my deck. I just think it's too greedy. Welcome, Teslas. Yeah, we're not going to play this immediately, but I want the double uh, board presence. And I just need to hold this back. I've got Reno in hand. Oh, now I don't have to hold it back. And that's two evolve effects that are kind of impactful. I'm just drawing straight top end, turn after turn. I will crush your delusions of I hope I survive this. Unity, precision, Peace. I wouldn't mind one of those devolves myself about now. Can you stop? I just want one! <laughs> Solarian in my deck? Jeez. That's not the trade you should make at all. Wait, does that buy me a turn on the Reno? It's 12. Probably way too risky. This uh, actually ends up being a pretty good setup by the opponent, so... I think I have to play the Reno here. And I just continually draw... Like, look at this big empty spot at my top end. Two damage is too easy for them to find, though. Uh, that may give me enough time when paired with the Alexstrasza and the Reno. It doesn't pop, which is the only thing that matters here. Next turn, we Reno and play these two. Eater of Secrets is a card. Why would you lie like that? That's not popping me at one. Thank you for the extra health. need Reno not to do anything stupid for the rest of this game. Which is, to be fair, asking quite a bit. 
Oh wait, there's only one more turn because of the uh, potion here. Please just don't dump my hand here, Reno. Uh, hand space is a problem. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Gigantic Donuts, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Nate Drex, Osiris, Saint Arthur, Shado Yama, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, Vamp Lord Gaming, and Vanfix. 